Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, we're continuing the coverage of CES 2018, and today we're going to take a look at what Sony is offering over the next year across their entire TV line. Now, Sony once was the leader in the television market, but I would say in the last six to seven years, Samsung overtook them. Now, last year, Sony regained some market share with the 900E. It was extremely successful for them in 2017. Now, the 900E offered a full array local dimming with 4K and HDR and had Sony's second best video processing. Now, most retailers throughout the year had the 55 inch version at some point at under a thousand US dollars. Now, Sony is picking up where they left off in 2017 with the X900F. Now, this TV once again has full array local dimming, but new this year, the X900F video processing has been upgraded to the X1 Extreme. Now, this allows it to support Dolby Vision HDR as well as HDR10 and HLG. The X1 Extreme is Sony's top video processor for this year and is also found in their higher models such as the A8F OLED model. Now, Sony has also improved motion with new technology dubbed the X Motion Clarity. This will ensure a smooth, lifelike image for fast paced action scenes using Sony's proprietary local dimming algorithm to control the luminance and duration of each dimming zone. Now, the X1 Extreme also does object based HDR remastering, super bit mapping of 4K HDR, and dual database processing. 4K Reality Pro offers Sony's excellent processing to deliver the best possible quality from all sources. Dynamic Range Pro will enhance HDR and non-HDR content by increasing the dimming backlights for each dimming scenes. Now, Android TV returns for 2018, but it has Google Assistant this year as a new addition. Now, you will be able also to control your smart home devices through the TV and the X900F will be available in more sizes this year including a 49 inch, a 55 inch, 65, 75 and 85 inch model. Now in my opinion this TV will be very popular this year as it adds Sony's best video processing, Dolby Vision HDR but retains the 2017 low price point. Now Sony has also improved their OLED line with a new model. The A8F replaces the A1E which is also good by most people's accounts. Now the A1E had a backwards tilt to the stand and to be honest with you I didn't like that design and many felt the same. It was just weird having a TV tilt back and not stand up straight. Now, so Sony has made design changes in 2018 and I'm happy to report the stand no longer makes the TV tilt backwards. The TV screen is still an acoustic speaker using acoustic surface technology which turns the entire screen into a vibrating speaker. Now this TV has the same processor as the X900F, the X1 Extreme. Now this year we don't know if the brightness has been increased over the A1E from last year and pricing is not available at this time. However, I expect this TV to offer the best video quality from Sony in 2018 as OLED is just in a different league. Now current LCD technology just can't keep up with the deep inky blacks, wider viewing angles and superior motion that OLED provides. Now, Sony stole the show when they displayed a 10,000 nit 4K HDR prototype TV with their next processor dubbed the X1 Ultimate. Now, this TV is 8K and has double the processing of the current X1 Extreme chip. The TV is so bright that no tone mapping is required. Now, HDR has a max grade of 10,000 nits. However, most HDR is mastered at 4,000 nits. With the TV doing 10,000 nits, it can play HDR without needing to adjust, giving you a 100% representation of how the HDR was shot. The human eye sees 10,000 nits, so when you're watching this TV, it will appear like you're watching it through a window. Basically your eyes will think that the image is real and imagine how sports and movies will look on this set. Now the Samsung QLED line with the addition of full array will look great this year but Sony's pricing of the X900F will make it a real contender for the average consumer. Hopefully the X900F will force Samsung to launch a competitive price for their QLED line this spring. Now I want to know what you guys think. Are you impressed with Sony's 2018 TV line? Will you be buying an X900F or an A8F OLED model? What are your thoughts on Sony's 10,000 nit monster 8K TV? Please leave your comments down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.